day 10 of rendering the same piece. There is no end in sight. The hair could use more layers, the fabric could use more textures, the edges could use more refinements. Must make this perfect or must render more! How can you tell when a piece is finished? And how can you tell when to stop working on a piece or when to continue working on the same piece? People often ask this because they feel their pieces could be better and they feel irresponsible calling it done. But at the same time, they see other artists' work that are perfectly rough and look amazing. How did they know that was the perfect spot to stop? They didn't know. Other artists are just as confused as you are, and they stopped there because it felt right, not because their art couldn't have been better. They could have put in another 30 hours and made the piece look even more stunning, but reaching objective perfection is not the goal of art. And what does this mean for you? This means trust your guilt-free intuition. Whether you've spent 30 hours on a piece or 30 minutes, if you feel like working on it more, work on it more. If you feel like it's done, it's done. It's only when we don't trust our gut and think that we should do better that we look for outside reference points. For example, we look for other people's finished works or even our own finished works to set a standard for ourselves. But abiding to objective standards of what should be considered a finished piece is not always helpful. In this case, you're trying to coerce yourself into thinking that your piece should be better by needing more work. But the caveat is your piece always could be better. And as unbelievable as that sounds, you're not a slave to making your art better. But this idea was the best I've ever had! Gotta give it my 500% and make it perfect! Wrong! Your current idea is not the best idea you will ever have, and it will never be perfect. As dearly as you hold something to your heart, it'll only be the best you could get because you refuse to let go and move on, not because you can't do any better. This is especially hard to believe if you're new to drawing, because you don't have the growth to go back to and see the truth in what I'm saying. But you just have to take my word for it and know that the future holds much, much more. But if I just call a piece done when I feel like it, how would I learn? Wouldn't I just get stuck in the same place the next time? A lot of these problems that you notice, revealed through detail painting, are fundamental problems, like compositional issues, bad lighting, incorrect anatomy build, and no amount of superficial detail you pat on will make something that's wrong look right. Instead, if learning is your concern, analyze these core issues, see where they're coming from, and apply these observations to your next piece process. By going through the entire process, what you learn is how to build good habits where it counts, rather than how to cover up your mistakes. What if I just really wanted to draw this piece forever? It just feels nice to work on, and I was just coming up with reasons too. Justify wasting so much time on a drawing? Then go for it! Because in the end, unless you're working for a client, drawing is for your enjoyment. Learning and improvement is only a means for you to better enjoy your drawing experience. You don't need justification for doing what you already enjoy in art. You don't need to know if what you did was right, if you felt deep down that it was what you wanted to do. You don't need to stop yourself from painting that 100 hour piece that you're in love with or push yourself to do more with that portrait that you've run out of patience for. Everyone works differently and achieve different things because of that. Whether your goal is to be happy, be good, or be rich and popular, just be honest with yourself about what you want out of art when you face uncertainties like these, and anything you do would be the right thing for you. <laughs>